He changed his life completely six years ago and now he travels the world full time and he calls it the exile lifestyle. Today with us is Colin Wright. Um, Colin, could you tell us a bit more of what your life was like before the exile lifestyle? Yeah, absolutely. I was living out in Los Angeles and I was living a bit of the uh, American dream in a sense where I was making a whole lot of money and spending a whole lot of money. But in order to live that lifestyle, in order to have the townhouse on the beach and uh, to, to have all the fancy gadgets and toys and the walk-in closet full of clothing, I also had to work like 100 hours, 120 hours a week. So it was something that was wonderful in some ways, but very unsustainable. So when did a turning point come and why? Well, my girlfriend at the time and I decided that we should take a trip. And I had never left the country at this point in my life, which was sad for somebody who wanted to travel so badly. So we decided we'd take a road trip up to the exotic land of Canada and drove up the coast and went to Vancouver and on the way back down stopped in Seattle and ended up having a conversation there in which we discussed things that we weren't doing that we wanted to do. And for her, that was sticking around in Seattle. For me, it was traveling the world. And so then we had to decide what that would look like. We gave ourselves four months, and in that four-month time, we would figure out what to do next. And then at the end of the four months, we would have a breakup party and, and celebrate a wonderful relationship before going our separate ways. So, and that's when you started the Excel Lifestyle? Yeah, I, I kind of got rid of everything that wouldn't fit into a carry-on bag and started up my blog. And on the blog, because I had no idea where to go since I hadn't traveled, I asked my readers which country I should go to. And they voted and they decided to send me to Argentina. So may I ask, how do you uh, support yourself financially with traveling full-time? I'm very fortunate to be able to sustain my travels by writing books. And I, I write my blog and newsletters and such uh, still. That, that's all free for people, though. And then hopefully if they like my writing enough, they'll go and check out my nonfiction and my fiction, maybe buy something. That, that helps me pay rent and helps me pay for plane tickets. Wow. Well, thank you, Colin, for being with us today. And if you guys at home want to see more of Colin, make sure to keep an eye on Interconnection.